Hello guys, welcome back. In this video, we will explore the menu component from and design. We will see how we can create different menu items and how we can add different icons in the menu items, how we make the uh, sub menu and how we can customize uh, the menu items, different colors and fonts. And also we will see how we can add a separate customized uh, component like the search component in the menu item and also we will see how we can add the menu items instead of this inline collapse uh, it shows uh, in the pop-up all right so let's get started i have an empty react js project that is using and design and right now it's showing nothing so let's go ahead and import the menu component from and design and start using it so import menu and use menu here and in, in the menu, we have to provide the items that we want uh, to show uh, under the menu. So, it will ask for array of objects and, and, and in each object, uh, we need to provide the label and we will say it's home and also the key for that label. So, uh, so menu remember that what key to open what key to hide and what key to disable it and things like that let's save it sorry label here you go home and let's copy it and paste it few more times to add more items in that so suppose we want to do that for we can say it dashboard and we can say it dashboard the key then might uh, we might say it uh, uh, user management maybe um and then uh, we can say let's come here we can say sign out right so here you go from it gives us the menu so suppose uh, we want to uh, add the sub menu against some of these as well so suppose in under the dashboard we want say uh, the revenue and expenses like that so for that we have to provide a ch the children uh, under that menu item so that will again be uh, asking for an array of items so sim that is similar to uh, the menu items so under the children we will again be passing an array of label and key objects so we, we can say revenue and uh, we can say expenses right okay what of comma is missing here right Here you go home dashboard that comes revenue and expenses right and right now it's showing uh, as a pop-up uh, when you over on the dashboard we can show this menu inline as well so that is under the menu we can say it's mode is inline right now it's showing vertical and if you uh, change it to inline so it will show the inline and right now it's coming in the whole uh, weird so let's wrap it in a space so that it's uh, only cover the space space is not defined away from empty here you go dashboard revenue expenses right so here you see uh, that right now uh, by default uh, the dashboard uh, sub menu is not opened by default so if you want to somehow open the uh, some of the some of the keys in the menu so suppose uh, user navigating directly to a some path so based on that you want to open uh, that path in the menu as well so for that uh, we can do that using uh, default 
open keys and it uh, it ex uh, accepts an array of uh, these keys so if we want to open the dashboard so we will be given that a dashboard key so now if if even i refresh the page so the dashboard is by default opened Okay, so let's add a uh, few children in the chooser management as well. So let's copy this one and under the user management, uh, we can say edit profile and maybe uh, switch account. We can say EP edit profile switch account, right. So it becomes a, a submenu, you know, right? And by default, it's not opened because we only provided that the dashboard is by default opened, right? Uh, so here you see uh, all of these are in blackish color. So if we want to change it to some other colors, we can do that as well. So suppose we want to uh, make the sign out in a danger color. So we can leverage this danger prop so it will turn into the uh, reddish okay so also we can add uh, the icons here for all of these uh, items so let's start adding those so icon so right now i'm uh, adding the icon from the end design i have a separate video on how to add and manipulate or Added uh, icons uh, from the end design. You can, I will put the link in the description below. You can take a look on that. So, for the home, we can say home maybe field okay. Here you go, the home icon. Then, then the dashboard, we can say. dashboard mm, outlined and in the revenue we can say the icon is maybe dollar circle outlined there you go and in the expenses uh, we can say it is a money collect talk client. So, whatever you want to uh, add here, uh, even you can uh, uh, create your own icons or the images. And also, instead of these uh, text, you can render anything here. Uh, I will come to that point in a file. Okay, so this is how we add the icons uh, in different items. So let's add the icons here as well. Maybe we can say uh, the icon is edit outlined and the icon here is maybe switch. Okay. So we have all of these icons. Okay. So also, if, if we want to uh, make instead of the making this uh, sub menu, we can make this uh, the group as well. So so it stays here, uh, just saying that it is a group. So it will be we can say its type is a group. Here you go. So now it's a group under user management uh, section. We have edit profile and switch switch account, right? Okay. So also instead of these uh, text, uh, we can add different type of any React component. Uh, we can return in, in place of these. So suppose we want to add a uh, maybe search on, on the top. Uh, we can add that as well. So let's copy this home. And uh, move this icon as well, maybe 
and uh, instead of this label home we can turn anything here maybe we can turn the input from the end design okay and inside that we can maybe you can search input or search and with the placeholder uh, search here right there you go so it says search and it's give me be search okay so you can type in here whatever you want and search also we can return any react component instead of these text so suppose uh, let's return some react component for the expenses and style that so instead of expenses we can uh, return a span uh, which is again showing the expenses and let's give it a style maybe we wanna say color is hash f is zero right so here it is and if uh, on click of these menu items if you want to do anything or navigate to a different page or show some pop-ups or something like that you can do that as well uh, using uh, the on click uh, function so it will give us the information about the menu item so on which we have clicked so uh, let's console for now so we can say info dot key so it, it, it will be giving us the menu key so here we have defined the key for uh, a unique key for each menu item so it will be giving us back the key so based on that key we can uh, do whatever we want so let's save it refresh and uh, let's inspect okay so click on the home so it's revenue expense added profile and switch count sign out right all right so this is how we create the menu uh, we add uh, different icons in the menu items we make uh, the sections uh, in between the menu items and we how we create the sub menus and how we uh, customize the menu items and how we can return a particular customized uh, item and uh, right now we have seen that we can uh, add a sub menu uh, on the top level also we can add the sub menu on the inner levels as well so what we need to do is we only need to add the children like uh, prop anywhere so it will uh, add the sub menu sub menu sub menu uh, for that one all right so that's it on exploring the menu component from and design if you have any questions please let me know in the comments below and if you have learned something in this video please hit like subscribe to my channel see you in the next video thank you